I have to rep, uh, you know, local small businesses now. The war is over. Episodes 491 and I think 493. I think 490. What is my cat doing? Madam, we have one piece to watch. Episodes 491 and 493 of our One Piece watcher today. And the war is over. And it's time to see the fallout because these Straw Hats are still all split up. And Luffy is not even conscious yet. We don't even know how he's going to react once he wakes up and realizes that everything that went on that, that with Ace and Whitebeard, everything it was, was real. We're going to hop right into it. Drop a fat like on this one and let's get started. West Blue. Whose flag is that? Oh, no, we're just going to start seeing pirates all over the world kind of uh, wreaking a little bit of havoc. Like I said, like the, the second coming of the new pirate era. That was when it was a teasing in Impel Down of how like people were like, they were ready for the t for Whitebeard to fall. Oh, my. Food Vaulton. Wait, food Vaulton. We've been here before? Oh, no, this is one of the places it showed first. Yeah, that, that Whitebeard protected. He did so much more good than bad, bro. I still don't want to think that he's actually not, like gone. The world's strongest man. That and all the other islands he protected. Fishman Island included. He protected that too. Brown beard ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. White beard and black beard are such heavy hitters, and this dude is. He, I mean, maybe he is. Who knows? Maybe he's the final villain. Okay. Yeah, they're going back to. Is Amazon Lily's the maiden island, right? Oh, shoot, they're back already. Uh, I don't think she's much of a warlord anymore. I mean, heck, even there, it may, they might be in danger too. So Ivan's leaving? Moral support. Yep. New bonds have been formed. Dude, where's Croc? Dude, I cannot believe Ivan is going back to his kingdom where, where Sanji is, bro. He's gonna get there and be like, who are you? And once he finds out that Luffy or that Sanji is part of Luffy's crew, oh, he's gonna freak out. Despite all the bad that happened, he did a lot of good still. Bye, Ivan! My goat! God, this is still one of my favorite, like, islands. I think next to Water 7, I'd live here. And not just because of the women. Just like the design. Women are a bonus. They all fine, baby. Oh my god, they've never seen so many men. Yo, chill! I like how Law's crew have like matching uniforms. Oh my gosh! They're friends. She just stands on the snake. <laughs> oh, the uh, Granny Neon. I mean, I don't blame her because they don't know if they can trust like Law and his crew, even if they or have been peaceful up until now. Mm. How advanced is Law? Bo is going to override Granny Neon. <laughs> That's all he had to say. Because I don't think Law's lying just to get on this island. Yeah. We've reached the middle ground. Bro, just threw her words at her. I'm shocked that Boa's word isn't final. I know Nyon is kind of like the, the village elder, but still. Boa still respects her a lot because she was the previous, like, what, ruler or two rulers ago? Two weeks. Is he still unconscious? Oh, dang. I love how it just says death on the side of the ship. Aww. Thanks, mommy. I, I mean... <laughs> Afalandra. Yo, it's been two weeks. We're chill. Nice of them just to be welcoming. Dog, two weeks and he's still unconscious. That's crazy. She's not touching any of her food. Oh, just worried about Luffy. As cheesy as it is, like how in love with him she is, it, it's so sweet. 
It's like reliving it in his dreams, I guess. Don't make me relive it! He's awake! Or it might like injure him since he's... Oh no. Fuck, all the bandages. Oh my god! He just throw himself... Oh, they're both the ship! Oh, this is gonna be rough, bro. I knew it would be like like reality hitting like a sack of bricks. It's gonna take a while for him to, to come to terms with it. He needs to stop moving around. Oh, Jim is like, all right, give me a sec. He's just gonna like hold him down. They're all trying to. Oh, this is so sad. There's nothing she can do right now. I guess she wants to know that he's awake. Oh. Neon, what's going on, man? Dang, she's being really strict now. There had to have been stuff that has happened, like, even more than we know for her to be this strict now. Should we go eat with him? She's just like, God dang, Luffy has a grip on her. Yeah, it's literally an excuse for her to take it to him. It's just like, because when we got here, Boa's word was final and she didn't even care about it. She threw Neon out of a window. Yep. She knew that as soon as he left, though. <laughs> She's just fawning still. They're just slowly repairing the damages. Why do you, like, destroy the entire top? Yeah, I think Jinbei's either gonna go talk to him or something. He's the best person, too. They're, like, gushing about it? <laughs> Even Beppo's blushing. Oh! Let him have dreams! Take him his straw hat. It'll make him feel better. Like a blanket or a teddy bear. Oh my gosh. Just obliterating the forest. What? Who is he? Oh, he's bleeding from his injuries still. Oh, no, dude, he's gonna kill himself. Just tell me Jembe finds him. Could have ended up so differently. God damn, bro. Where is Jembe? He needs the straw hats too, man. He's at his lowest without him. Oh my god! Luffy, stop! There he is. Thank goodness. I mean, maybe this is necessary. Like, he just has to get this out. Oh, no. Jinbei already... The way he's treated Luffy has already felt like, a, like an older brother, like a father figure. It's nice, considering the straw hats aren't here. I would say go easier on him, but he has to face it eventually. It's the stages of grief. I don't remember them all, but he's getting there. You can't see him become king of the pirates, bro. God damn, dude, the VA. What is this end screen? Eh, X, huh? Oh, is it the next, the filler episode next? Oh, he had to go through it eventually, man. It's it's not going to be easy in any sense. But like I said, I'm so glad that Jinbei is here. Throughout everything, he's been watching over Luffy and Harley as since they left Impel Down. I mean, he helped him and saved him a number of times in Marine Ford, alongside others, of course, like Ivan and whatnot. But I feel just kind of safe around it. He took the punch from a Kainu for him. And if the Straw Hats can't be here for him, then I'm glad Jinbei is, of course. So, uh, episode 493. Let's, uh, let's see if he can calm down a bit. I'm sad Shanks isn't gonna see this. Oh, shoot? This is on the island where Luffy was from? Yeah, I was gonna say. He tried to go! God dang, Garp. <laughs> the way he's holding him, bro. He's like fully stretching down from the cheek. <laughs> and now we know how just like heartbroken and, 
it made Garb for both of them to become pirates. As mad as I was at him for some of the stuff that happened to Marine Ford, he was uh, just, he had to have been so conflicted. We saw how conflicted he was. Gonna see a little bit more about who. <laughs> who raised them? Curly Dadden, the Don, Dogra, Magra, Dogra, Magra, and da the Don. He say the Don. Like we got like a small flashback when he left Luffy here. Look at Luffy running around. God, the kids have so much energy, bro. Too much. And they just said yes. <laughs> Yo, why did Garp not just raise him? And where was Dragon at this point? Was he already a Revolutionary Army's like leader? Oh my gosh, he threatened to throw them in jail? God dang, Garp. Didn't take care of it. Oh, I bet Ace is rambunctious too. She kind of has the beads, kind of like Ace War. I think it's a nice looking house. Ew. Ew. Aw, there's Ace. Ace, did he spit on him? Is he sitting on an animal? Rip my goat, bro. I swear to God. I always saw Ace is so much older. I don't know why. Three years isn't that, that much. He's older, but I saw him like four or five. <laughs> he already told you the conditions, bro. You don't want to go to jail. So this is just the place Garb dropped off troubled children. Because he dropped Ace off here too, right? Dog, why here? Like, how did he meet them? His hat. Dude, knowing now how important and powerful Shanks is is so funny with that scene in retrospect and how he lost an arm. Oh my God. Random bandits? He's not even scared. Garp. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, they all live here? So this was not a small household to say the least. They'll just fought for their food? Lost to a dog. Where's Ace? Pops. <laughs> Den of the Dadan family. Is it Dadan or Dadan? Oh my gosh! Wouldn't Garp get mad if he left? Or if she let him leave? Oh, there's Ace. I bet Ace taught him to fight for his food. It's so sad we're getting like this this backstory now. Although it would have been way more ominous before he died. So he hunts for them? Why not? Oh my god! This is cruelty! Damn, the Dodon house? Okay. <laughs> He's such an odd child. I like his gusto. This young. He's too tough. She knew, yeah, from Garb's bloodline. I like how Ace just has this metal pole he's carrying around. It's such like a kid-like thing to do. You find a weapon that you really like, and it's just some random stick or something. Aww. Oh, wow. Wow. Already started, started taking off their shanks that, that quickly. Okay, so Ace was cold to Luffy at first, to say the least. He seemed like the solo dolo type, though. He always kind of was. <laughs> He's still following. I like the colors and whatnot of this so far. It's so just bright and shiny compared to what we've... I think it's just what I've been used to in Marine Ford. Oh, no, he's gonna hit him. <laughs> You're a monster, Ace! Look at that bright smile on that kid. Dang, he was really mean. Oh my god! Ace! Dang, he was insanely mean to him at first. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of what we've only been shown, but I thought they were just like buddy buddy from the beginning, like join at the hip. Oh, Doesn't say a word either. He says Luffy is dead. It looked like he fell into a river, bro. <laughs> the Don's like celebrating Luffy being gone. Dang. Is he in a barrel? 
Oh, this is their bath. I see. Dang, dude, Ace just looks like permanently mad. Oh, we did. Okay. We did see this and how just everybody just trashed on Roger. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And he knew Roger was his dad. I'm pretty sure at this point, I think. I don't know. I know nothing. That's what the wall is for. But at this point, the entire wall is just shattered from Marine Ford. Dang. Hey, you can't say that for Ace and Luffy. Luffy's missing too. Harboring Roger's child is the highest of crimes. When he didn't find his way back for a week? No shot. There he is! He lived! Bro, the fought through hell. <laughs> I don't think he'll give Ace up, to be honest. I think Ace is gonna see him just not say anything. I'm getting a little respect for him. Maybe not. Bro finally made it back. He said work tomorrow. And he's already asleep. I think Luffy's like relentlessness is gonna make Ace eventually like him. Yeah, he just slowly etched away at him. Oh, it's probably a good thing they didn't show this backstory because it would have been way more ominous for sure before he died. Now we really get to see the bond they had. It's more reminiscing now. Ace in his metal pole. <gasps> Crocodiles! Oh my gosh, foreshadowing. His eventual meeting with... The crocodile. Who are those alligators? I don't know the difference. Dang, dude. Luffy for real been fighting crocodiles since he was a child. Just over and over and over again. He just kept trying to be his friend. My god, Ace! There has to be some changing moment. Like, Luffy almost died and Ace has to help him or vice versa. Like, some turning point. I don't think it'll just happen gradually. My god damn! Two months of just him even in the rain. That's so sweet! He was always chasing him. That's how headstrong he is about it. Oh no! <laughs> Who are you? Oh my gosh. It, 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 the turning point event is going to happen on a rainy night for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what did I say? What did I say? Yeah, that's Ace Luffy. Oh my God, did I call it? The beast of Mount Corvo. You know who's been chasing you, bro. He's a little silly. What's he doing with his thumb? He's like about to bite his thumb. What the? A bear. Did Ace? Why did it look like he was like about to bite his thumb, like third gear? <laughs> Dang, dude. Movie really does have luck of the devil, man. Random bear just stood up for him. And he just laughs. Oh my god. Okay, maybe it is gradual. Like, Ace just sees like how dead set this kid is about becoming friends. And I don't know. Maybe it just takes a liking to him. It's hard not to like him, man. Luffy no no Three months. I was like dying. What? What is this? Is this a village? It's not Windmill Village. All right, we are getting a fat deep dive into, into Luffy and Ace's backstory, which shocks me, but I'm happy with because it's been so dreary for so long in such high pace action. That's kind of like taking the backseat and just having a cozy little adventure with this, just him as a kid. It, it just feels nice, like a breath of fresh air. Because like I said, I mean, the past, since we went to Impel Down, it's just been nonstop, constant, just mayhem and chaos. But I'm wondering now why they're telling the story about Luffy and Ace meeting, aside from the fact that it gives more emotional weight and more of a punch to how Luffy is reacting. Because, I mean, we knew they were close and they literally saw each other as brothers, even though they weren't actual brothers. But I think we're going to learn a little bit more about Ace and Luffy out of this than we previously thought or knew. Because what we're already seeing, I didn't think he was this cold to him at the beginning. I kind of just assumed that they just got along. But that's been it for episodes 491 493 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop a fat sub on the channel if you're new and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.